Yesterday update 4.1 for Battlefield 2042 released, and it's pretty unique for a content patch in that it actually removes flagship content from the game entirely. I'm not going to go over all the patch notes in this video because honestly, most of them are pretty minor. I just wanted to review some of the highlights and issues presented with 2042's latest and possibly last update until the start of Season 1 in June. If you enjoyed the video, let me know by leaving a like and subscribing for more. Let's take a look with some of, in my opinion, positive changes with this patch that should help with infantry combat especially. Boris is annoying and frustrating to play against Sentry has been nerfed pretty heavily, reducing its overall health and damage, and changing how it spots players, no longer, as the patch notes put it, tracking players through walls. I honestly don't mind the Sentry in theory, I like the idea of a more defensive playstyle in Battlefield, but it's been extremely frustrating to turn a corner and see six of these things just firing all at you at once. Hopefully this cuts down on that. Another good change is Angel will no longer provide armor with his ammo resupplies, and the less armor in this game, the better in my opinion. This does fundamentally remove a massive incentive to actually play Angel, so we'll see if he's still as prevalent in games as he was before. This was a huge feature of this specialist and further reinforces how poorly thought out and implemented many of the specialist traits and abilities actually are. Stock weapon handling has been improved slightly, input lag and aim assist have received some attention, although I'm still experiencing some issues. The nightmare inducing bolty has finally been moved to the armored vehicle category with the tanks, so hopefully we'll see less of this hateful thing. However, many players are reporting terrible lag spikes since the patch went live. I think they are hotfixing it, but I've seen this myself and it crashes on my machine are still prevalent as well, so yay! Most notably and why I wanted to make a video on this small patch is that the 128 player breakthrough mode has actually been completely removed from the game. That's right, one of the primary modes and biggest selling points of the game, the increased player count, has been cut from the game completely on one of its two primary game modes. Funnily enough, this didn't reduce all breakthrough maps to their 64 player sizes, so you can actually experience 64 player breakthrough on the larger map layouts, which makes it feel even more empty and barren than it did already. I personally thought 128 player breakthrough was okay, it was definitely the worst performing mode and the most chaotic, but I chalked most of that again to poor map design. Merely reducing the player count didn't solve really the fundamental issues of the maps themselves. And for those players that love this mode, I feel for you. We now have DICE actively removing content from the game with updates. It's actually pretty incredible. I think it's a testament to how small the player base is, that they just didn't leave it in along with the 64 player version. Outside of some additional weapon tweaks, that's really it. A very underwhelming patch given that it's our last one before Season 1, apparently. This means no new major performance and stability improvements before we head into Season 1, six months after launch. I honestly hope I'm proven wrong, but I just can't shake the feeling that we are in for an embarrassingly small amount of content and changes at the launch of Season 1. A new map, a new specialist, and maybe some new guns, but there's just so much that needs to be done to bring back the player base that I frankly am not sure how they'll be able to pull it off without a complete soft relaunch of the game itself. Here's hoping guys can prove me wrong, but I won't be holding my breath. That's it from me today, until next time.